It happened years ago. I remember it was the last summer before finishing high school. It was a hot summer, long and boring. I was never a popular boy in school. I used to hang out with my one and only friend, Oki, just a nerd like myself. We listened to hip-hop, smoked joints, and imagined what life would be like at the university far from this town, away from all of this dust and boredom. And that's how the summer afternoons passed, until a shadow appeared. My father used to play in a group called Cobra with some of his friends in the afternoon. They basically played wedding music, but they really had some good time with it. Oki and I were listening to them in the back of the garage where they used to practice. One day, a girl with straight black hair appeared looking for her father. I suddenly got a little nervous, and Oki as well since a girl like that was not in our usual spheres. In the end, we found out that her father was the drummer in my father's group. We both secretly dreamed about her and wanted to find out who she was and what high school she went to. Eventually, a friend of Oki found out that she was at the same school as us and her classroom was in the other wing of the building. Her name was Himari. Wow. Cool. Himari. Of course, we spent the rest of the summer dreaming of her. We wouldn't recognize it, though. When we finally went back to school in September, I started following her, watching her have breakfast with her friends, listening to her laugh from the distance. Imagining Himari, the girl I've always dreamed of being my girlfriend, going to the beach together, eating ice cream, kissing. However, I stayed in the background. She would never date a loser like me. Neither like Oki, too. <laughs> it was another afternoon at my father's place that she popped up again with her school uniform and her long hair and a ponytail. She was looking more gorgeous than ever. She just stayed around waiting for her father, so we ended up talking. Ah, Himari, how beautiful you are, and look at me, I'm just a loser. I couldn't stop thinking about it while she kept smiling at me. But Losers can get lucky sometimes, and although I truly don't know what she saw in me, maybe it was boredom, or maybe she had no better choice at the moment, we started dating somehow. In the beginning, it was euphoric. I couldn't even believe how I could ever be so lucky. I just kept asking myself that. How are you so lucky, bro? The slightly jealous Oki kept asking me the same question. Himari and I were truly united, and with time, we became inseparable. Until one day, when things started to change, and she turned into a shadow. My shadow. She suddenly didn't like me hanging out with my best friend, Oki, who, according to her, was... A nerd, a bad influence, and toxic. He is my best and only friend, I said to her, but she got really angry at me. Those beautiful green eyes looked at me in a way that scared me so much. So I just dropped the topic. Nor did she want me to go out alone just in case something happened to me. So... We spend every afternoon at her house watching anime on the couch. It was good at first, cozy and romantic, but I got bored after a while. So during the anime couch sessions, I would chat with Oki on Facebook. As soon as she realized this, Himari became my digital shadow too. 
I got my phone confiscated for the afternoon, and I couldn't even give a like without her permission. And if I was not at her house right after school, she would message me. Where are you, my love? My dear Enkai, when are you coming? One day I arrived five minutes later, and I found her almost crying. She told me that she could not live without me, and that if one day I would leave her, she was going to do something very, very serious with herself. And she rolled up her sleeves. I thought that I loved her and that I was the luckiest nerd for having her by my side. That it was a miracle that such a beautiful and popular girl like Himari would go out with a loser like me. Until this very moment. Suddenly, I realized that holding on to a girl like this, no matter how beautiful and popular she was, was making me even more of a loser, if that was even possible. After all, I had no life. I no longer had any friends ever since I met her. It was me on the couch at her house in prison watching anime to infinity. I got so scared that I just ran away. I ran home and hid in my room that I shared with my sister Nico. I felt safe with her since she was the oldest. Tormented as I was, I couldn't go to sleep. At midnight, I went down to the kitchen for a bottle of water and there she was. Imari she was quietly sitting on the couch of my parents' living room, watching anime on their iPad. Like a doll. Like Annabelle. Oh my gosh. I was waiting for you, she told me. I almost had a breakdown, so I just ran back to my bedroom. Yeah, so brave, I know. It was my sister, Nico, who kicked her out eventually. That very night, I sent her a message that I did not want to be with her anymore. That I did not want her to get close to me in any way, and that she sh should stay away from my house, my friends, or anything mine. The next day at school, I saw her down the hall. And she didn't say anything. She wouldn't even look at me, but as she passed... She would push me down to the floor. She couldn't do more, as such a popular girl couldn't just humiliate herself in front of everyone. Apparently, she got on with her life. I had to block her on Facebook, Instagram, and all over social media because she kept on harassing and threatening me for a while. In real life, she would never say anything to me. She wouldn't even approach... As for me, I must admit I was a little scared at first. But finally I was able to go back to my good old loser life, as it used to be. And now, I was a free loser. Oh.